good morning YouTube it is Monday the 19th of June welcome to Shannon Ray Industrial Estate we appear to have gained a car we don't know about it's probably something being dropped off for the garages next door but it is the start of vlog 9 and the phone's ringing so let's go and see who it is so one of the first jobs for today is to look after the fishies we did a water change at the weekend and found that we had a little bit of water spot in there so I think someone's been stressing out a bit so this is treatment number two we'll keep you up to date on how they're doing so what do we have in this morning a Ford Focus RS in black but this customer it's quite cool actually has put the Monchun upgrade alloys on it and the calipers painted yellow and already done some of his own customization it is nice in the whole black package I think the customer asked can we take the plates off as he wants to use velcro have you seen how much sticky pads on this there is absolutely no reason for that I'll tell you what though the plate was never gonna come off was it Wow so on Saturday night, me and Daniel were having a chat uh, after the Friday when I was using the Gorillapod and I ordered on the Saturday night a Gorillapod from Amazon which said it was going to arrive on Monday. The time is 10 to 10 on Monday. I have an Amazon box. Let's see what's in it. Unboxing of the Amazon box take one. And here it is guys, I've done the usual messy unboxing. Here's the mount, it can wrap itself around things, it can do various good stuff, but hopefully what it does allow me to do is give you guys better quality footage. This is what it looks like on the new mount. Yay, I can actually stabilize it a lot better too. Sorry about the flicker. So, boys are nearly finished washing the RS, then we're gonna pull it inside. It is in for a single stage and crystal syrup. That's it because the customer has put them fantastic monster wheels in it and already coated them in C5 himself. Excellent, it works. So, something I've been wanting to do for a while is see if I could get me a hands-free kit in the van. Because you wouldn't believe it on the vlogs, but I actually am out about in the van quite a bit. So we are on our way now to Murray Office Supplies, as we've got a new whiteboard. I know, exciting. But it's actually going to help uh, organise a lot of the messages and things going on with the boys. So I'm off to get some bits and pieces there. Plus we get our A4 bags for the mitts there. We've got a new product coming, I'm looking to get another container bag for and we need to get some paper 100 GSM a little bit nicer than your average paper so that's it the end of day one what's happened focus we're maybe mm, three quarters one half of the way into doing that one and oh, tomorrow's cars in nice m3 in for a uh, g tenant yearly tomorrow so it's probably going to be uh scott on that one jamie helping him out me on this one and then once it's inside Scott will get it finished Jamie will go back upstairs and doing the chemicals because let's go and see what he's been doing today Glaze is restocked an embarrassing one on that one we were waiting the whole weekend for the caps for the top of them and that's another large batch of one litre APCs done can you work out which one of our most popular consumables is he's been doing lots of other stuff as well don't think that's all he's been doing but that's all we can show you so I will see you tomorrow morning where we'll have this one and the M3. Cheers guys, see you tomorrow. Morning everyone. Ten past seven this morning. I know. Uh, a little bit of a lie-in. Sarah just got back from a weekend away so I stayed up last night to see her uh, get back. Feeling it this morning. But Taking a deep breath because it's that kind of fresh, murky air this morning. It's nice. Right, let's go.
Okay, so why have I brought you in here this morning? It's going to be a bit of a crazy morning this morning. I wanted to run by a couple of things. I have to go and get my B12 injection this morning. And then yesterday, we had a phone call from a customer whose car is in an insurance company. Needs a rear bumper fixing. But he can't get his car until all the work's been complete. Part of the GTEC net guarantee is that uh, you want your car restored back to normal. So the insurance company are paying for me to do the GTEC elements. So basically, until I go and do the GTEC element, the guy can't have his car back. I'm not entirely sure when I can go and do that, so I need to have a look at the diary now and get that bit sorted. I have then also got to have a quick look at the videos online as we've done a small thing. What would you call it? A small diary. Uh, that was when we wrote it, so this is today. Oh, look what we'll be dropping tonight. Uh, of the videos that are online, and then I need to schedule them so that this will happen, so that the magical by number 10 happens. So as well as doing all that, I need to do all the final little bits and pieces, uh, emails and online orders, and try and get it all done in 35 minutes. So this is what happens when EXO says no. 20 past 11 on the Tuesday. That is the BMW's G-Technic yearly basically complete. So what's going to happen now is tidy all this up. Scott's been an absolute hero and getting all the water out. And there goes the phone. And then uh, I'm going to go and give this a wheelie stool. Cheers to that, Scott. A wheelie stool as it's done. Picture it and then it's back onto the Ford. And we've just been going through a few of the videos and found out we never intro or outro the Ford Fiesta ST Motorsport number 002. So we've been deciding do we or don't we outro it? So me and Scotty, cameraman of dreams, are going to try and do a quick intro and outro here. Another delivery for us, I think this one's going to be the 5 litre jugs. Let's go have a look. Yep, it's the bottles. How good does that BMW look from behind? Rap rap. So it's time to strip this down now and get them all upstairs so that we can get them filled for you all. Hey guys, that's it nearly at the end of the day. 10 to 5, quarter to 5, close enough. So what's going on? Focus. It's getting coated first thing in the morning. I'm hoping to get that done before I go away for a lunch tomorrow. And we've already got tomorrow's car in. Got this big 5 series coming in for protection detail and interior being clean. Let's go and have a look at that one. So this is what the boys are facing tomorrow. Wheels haven't been cleaned in a little while. Fingers crossed, just going through the wash and decontamination process, we can do a good save on the faces of these. It's also in for an interior deep clean. We've got the cream leather, the cream carpets, the mats. Hopefully we can do quite a good turnaround on this one. So that's gonna be in for a protection detail and interior deep clean. So it's gonna make for a pretty interesting day tomorrow. So I'm away to go onto this computer now sort out all these. I'm trying to do them every night now so just to keep myself up to date because they've been coming. They're not hard work, it's just if you don't get straight onto the video work and uh, get it done and sorted straight away you kind of lose what track you were on and then it gets a bit complicated. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible so I can get them done so that I can do this new thing where I've got one week to drop it. Um, fingers crossed you've been enjoying this content. Let us know down below and I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey everyone, it is Quarter past four, Wednesday. I know, I've been out all morning. Well, not out, had a meeting first thing this morning, then had a web design meeting, which I will show you a little bit about later. And then I was at a Murray Chamber lunch. Oops, but let's see what's going on. Remember that BMW I showed you yesterday? It's looking pretty good, I'll give you a little tour around that. And I'm just about to now do a night shift. CS in this one and then some chemicals for the road trip. But let's have a look at the Beamer. Remember those wheels? Boys done a great job cleaning up the faces on them. And the interior. So I think the customer is going to be pretty chuffed with this one. So it's just the final touches. Looks like windows, little wipe downs, and then we can get the bay tidied up. I'll get this one wheelie stooled for you all. And that'll be this one. Done. Let's go and have a look at that website stuff. So here we go. This morning we were looking at some website designing. I'm trying to keep it very limited. We're doing a bit of an import. For example, this product no longer exists on the current website, but when we pulled the inf information and it brought it with it, 
some of the categories are going to change, but fundamentally, this is potentially what the new website is going to look like. Here is a rough one I was working on earlier, but we've uh, just had a meeting about changing all the design of that. So it's going to be interesting how these two are going to hybrid together and we create what will be the new website. When that launches, I'm hoping by the end of July, maybe, fingers crossed. So that's the website, that's the Beamer, it's now time for me to work on this one. Hey everyone, so remember the other day I took you into my office, sat you down and told you how this week possibly might pan out and that I might have to do this insurance job? Guess where I'm going tomorrow morning. So, this morning actually. Found out I got to do that job uh, or the customer won't get their car back. So I had to do a late shift here as I was telling you about before and that is the Focus CS. So tomorrow it will get AM wax on it displayed and pictured and the lads in the morning are doing a Audi TT. But hopefully I will take you with me through to Inverness and we'll go and have a look at this car. It is half past this morning. Welcome to Friday. Morning again guys, so it is still Friday. Definitely feeling a little bit fatigued this morning. Uh, 0643 as we speak. Got me a little caffeine kick at the garage and we're now making our way through to Inverness. Hopefully this uh, Range Rover is in pretty good condition. Refine it, check it over and then I can get some coatings on there for the customer come all the way back. Then, for some reason, we were in the great idea that we would get away early so we could make it to Ikea Glasgow, Ikea Edinburgh, something like that on the way down. On the way down, it's a bit of a detour, but something like that so that we could get the new bits and pieces needed for the front of the shop to allow for the range expanding and just the way we're going at the minute, which is fantastic. To forget that yesterday when Scott was leaving, he was like, oh, I can't do uh, anything tonight because uh, I've got some IKEA stuff coming. So, really? Completely forgot that IKEA Aberdeen has opened now. So we have an IKEA like just over an hour away. So we can look at that when we come back. So depending on how today pans out, the gentleman will be doing a protection, which I might catch a little bit of when I get back. I'm hoping to. And depending on where we get to on the RS, we might leave early afternoon or it could be after work. Okay, guys, so here we are. Got the Range Rover, rear bumper's been done. Got my mobile kit. It's time to get this rear bumper done. Okay guys, that is it. Done at Arnold Clark. The time is. Time. Can't see because my reversing camera thing was on. There we go. The time is half past ten. It's time to head back to AMD, see what the boys have got on, and start prepping for BDC. We're back in the shop and the time is one o'clock. Boys have got the TT in and that is AM seal in it. They've just nipped out to go and get themselves some lunch now. And the RS is basically done. I'm gonna go and do a wheel of steel now and take the pictures. That way me and Jamie can get ready for Driftland. And then Scott can get this other little bits and pieces done as the customer's not gonna collect that one till tomorrow. But it means I can do the fake or whatever you wanna call it, wheelie stool and pictures now. So they're done so I can take the camera with me to get content at the weekend. So we're nearly ready to go. Jamie's sorted all the chemicals out. There's seat covers in the van. And I have been taking pepper in here for a while. This is a bit minging, so I'm just quickly give it a hoover over. Now I'm just going to give it a quick ah, AMA PC wipe. And I think in here we'll be ready for the road trip. Get the back loaded up. We're nearly there. Me and Jamie have just got some last minute chemicals to do. And I need these to stock the front of the shop so that Scott's got plenty. Something else I'm starting to notice a lot. Just stocking up, like I said. Putting the mitts in. And we usually have display ones at the front so people can see what they're like. And everyone keeps buying the display one. Doesn't matter how much we tell them to pick up one with a bag. Hmm. This could take some time. Is this awkward yet? <laughs> Tell you 
what, this new mount gives some cool angles for you guys, doesn't it? Just a couple more trips to do, and we'll be done. That's it guys, it's all loaded up. So later on we'll head off up to my place, get the last few bits and pieces, and then we're on the road down the A9. Check this out, so we're driving down, we're not even on the A9 yet, and someone has managed to code the top of this tree. <laughs> How did they get up there? Morning everyone, it is Friday morning, quarter past ten, and we're actually on our way through IKEA. We've come down to do Driftland this weekend, which will be a separate video, uh, but it's still a Friday, so trying to fit it into the vlogs. We need to get some things from IKEA, and then we were like, oh, we haven't got a float. So I've just managed to nip into Cowdenby and grab the float for tomorrow's Driftland. So that's it now, we're gonna head on through Edinburgh and then see what we can find in IKEA. So this is what happens when you take two blokes to Ikea. Oops. Somehow, I've no idea how, but we actually managed to fit that all in. The only problem is, now we're going on our way to Driftland, we've got to take this out, this weather, to set up the gazebo. So that's it guys, Ikea shopping done. We are now at Driftland. It's uh, a bit rainy, a bit dry. <laughs> that's the end of the week. We've done all our shopping, the cars are sorted and done. Uh, and that's it, the end of vlog nine. Wow, so next week we vlog 10 and hopefully then after that, exactly one week after, they'll drop every Friday and they'll drop on that schedule now. I'll let you know the schedule for the rest of them. Please do like and share it guys. 